Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever noticed it's easy to treat people with love and gentleness if they treat us with love and gentleness? If people are kind to us, we want to be kind back. If they let us in front of them at the checkout at the grocery store, we tell them thank you and we talk with them. But if they cut in front of us, we stare a hole in the back of their head. Proverbs, Proverbs tells us that we ought to do just the opposite. Not be mean to the people who are kind, but be kind to those who are mean. If you've had somebody in your life that you would consider an enemy because of the way they speak to you, maybe the way they treat you, or maybe because how they've treated you in the past, listen closely to this advice from Proverbs. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads and the Lord will reward you. Reward you. See, God does not want us to stare a hole in the back of their head. He doesn't want us to retaliate and cuss them out. He doesn't want us to treat them as harshly as they treated us. Instead, God desires we demonstrate kindness to our enemies, to treat them with compassion. If they have a need in their life, we're to try to help meet that need and show them the compassionate heart of Christ. And when we do that, something happens within their spirit. That they will know that you're treating them better than they deserve. They don't deserve to be treated with kindness by you because of the hurt they've caused in your life, because of the pain that they've caused in your life. And in the midst of the shame and remorse that they begin to feel, they might ask the question, why are you treating me so well? Then you have an opportunity to tell them about your hope found in Jesus. And if they respond to the good news of Jesus, is there any greater reward than that? I don't think so. So live with compassionate and tender hearts toward everybody, including those who don't deserve it. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.